the Winter Games. So, the Winter Football Championship is about to commence. Nobody this year is sitting on the fence. We're all at home, surrounded by tea and technology, searching for a live stream of our team, because our dream is still alive, this year more than ever. And it won't be nice. We're all skating on thin ice, because the backdoor system is no more. No, this year the backdoor has been locked up tight, tight as a witch's broom cupboard in June. Only this isn't June, this is winter, and there's a whole list of championship fixtures starting at Halloween. Scary. And there's reputations on the line, and lots of signs for two metre spacings. That's far too much room to give your man, like shite to a blanket, that was our plan. And all the players are going to have to wear gloves, even if it's not raining. Well, you can't be too careful with slippy, unsanitised dropping balls. And there was calls for this championship not to go ahead. Well, what would we do instead? Go shopping? Where? No, it's only fair that there's some little bit of excitement in our lives this winter. Enough said. And we, the fans, can stay in bed or stay at home and watch the drama unfold. Too cold to be sitting in a stand. Too cold for the last chalk ice. We don't need ice cream. We need to watch football on a screen of our choice. We need to watch it on a device that we can throw stuff at and shout abuse at. Never before have referees been so protected. Never before has the fan been so neglected. But that's the way it is. Here we are, getting ready for a tournament of snowball. Who will fall and who will come through? As the lotto says, it could be you. Or will it be the dubs again? I think it might be Leithrum. Well, if you're not in, you can't win. Come on.